Repeat after me. Today, when I watch this show, I will learn, develop, and gain inspiration for the rest of my peers and most importantly, myself. Today, I will gain inspiration to leave every bit of it behind me for those who need it more than ever. Please enjoy the show and gain inspiration. Thank you. That's right, Toronto, Ontario. I had, honestly, today I had the best shit. Now, to all of you who are wondering, why am I broadcasting this on YouTube? Why am I putting this as an episode for Real Talk? <clears throat> <clears throat> well, to tell you, everyone, you see, a lot of people don't know this real, um, what's the word for it, this real info about shit. You see, most human beings, who actually have a shit, they actually, if you, okay, let me just ask you one question first before we get to the five W's. Have you ever <clears throat> had, took a shit, had a bowel movement, and then after you ever got up, after you flushed the toilet, you're done, you're done getting dressed, everything, wash your hands, have you ever felt that feeling where you had that, that was just a good shit, where you felt like everything that was inside of you was gone? Like, you felt like you shit out of lung, sort of. Yeah. That was, like, where you just feel so good, like you have nothing else bloated. Well, you see, there's one thing you gotta realize. Those are the good parts of life. Having a good fucking shit like that. But, what us human beings don't realize is that, technically, all of us human beings, we only have five good shits in our life. I swear to God, for at least a hundred years of each <clears throat> of each human living, each of us actually only have five good shits. Those shits where you feel like you shit out every little um, uh, thing in your body. That's that's what I'm saying. That's how it feels. It's like freaking awesome. And you always think to yourself, "Damn, why can't I just have this all the fucking time?" So like, now here's the thing that we gotta realize here. Let's get to the five W's now. What, when, where, why, and how. So, let's figure out why is it that all the human race only has five good shits in a lifetime? Well, people, it's actually simple. You see, when you actually think about why you actually only get five good shits, and it's really very, it's very common. Us human beings, we don't like doing things perfectly. You see, we always watch television. We always go to the doctor. And all the doctor will tell you is, you should always eat this, drink that, take these much vitamins, everything like that. And then you'll be able to have a good bowel movement, you'll be healthier, etc. Things that like that, right? But the point of the matter is this, is when you are having a good bowel movement, like that good, now that means pretty much you got some pretty bad, uh, some pretty bad things out of your body. So that's actually a very good thing, because out of honesty, it's very important to shit. Now, before I get to that demonstration, I want Legend today because Legend is actually in this episode. He's actually out because he was preparing to tell his side of the story about shit. So let's get to Legend and him tell us the importance to shitting. Go ahead, Legend. Shit, man, is not good at all. Me, man, when I take shit, my own mama go, Wah! This things, man. Get the fuck out of the bathroom in the house now, time. You know, what? the important the shit is that when I eat all my oxtail and it comes out and you stink, man, if I kept it in there for longer than that, I would probably kill my whole family, man. Yeah, man. Not good at all to have good shit. 
A good shit is what makes life good, man. It's important to shit. That's why it's all good to be on real talk, man. Real talk. You see, legend is correct. You see, when it comes down to shitting, you see, you need to realize something. You see, did you, um, I forgot the star's name, but does anybody know, ever watch Poltergeist? That's a very scary movie that, uh, that had that spirit in the house. He took the little girl, uh, Caroline, and then after, like, uh, they had, <clears throat> she was in, like, another spiritual world, something like that. I haven't watched that movie in a long time. But the point is, is that that star, Caroline, the one who played Caroline at Poltergeist, when she was like, I think in her 20s, early 20s, she passed away because of a bowel movement that backed up onto her heart. Like, my mother, for a good example, gets attacks sometimes, okay? She gets these attacks where she throws up, constantly throws up, and she's like vomiting a lot, pretty much, right? She's really sick, pale, the face sweating cold chills, hot chills, you name it. And then after, the way she feels better is sometimes when she takes a shit, it's like her bowel movement helps her feel better because if she has gastritis too. So the point is, is that sometimes taking a shit can really help you medically because when you take a look at certain things about shit, it's like, you know, shitting to you doesn't matter. It's like, oh, whatever, I have to take a shit. But, you shouldn't like think it that way. You should think, okay, I have to shit, I better go do it. There's gotta be a reason why I have to shit. Even though it's getting all the bad things out of your body, and that's the number one good reason. Getting all that shit out of your body that can affect you in the, in the later life. <clears throat> now, that, now we just talked about for the first word of what is shit. Now, let's go through where. Now, a lot of people sometimes who work, who are outside, sort of, at some points, us humans sometimes have to take a shit at certain times, right? You just feel that feeling. But then after, sometimes you're outside or you're working. It's like some people who drive trucks and they have to work by delivering certain things to other yards. Sometimes they have to take a shit. But the thing is, is that the issue is, is that most people won't take a shit in public washrooms because they're scared of the germs that they would get off the toilets because of uh, what other commuters have used. And then other workers who would take a shit, they would not really use it either because they have to work and they're scared that their boss will lecture them about it or whatever. So the point is, is that most people are afraid to go and take a shit. And most people are just don't want to shit until they get home where and they are, they are comfortable in their own environment. So in my own opinion, it's like you think to yourself, okay, I know shitting is very important. That feeling is pretty much giving you that hint that something needs to come out of your body. So when you're sitting there and you're thinking to yourself, oh fuck, I have to take a shit. And you know you have to head to that bathroom. You know, you should always remember one thing. You should always take a second to yourself and think before you think about waiting. You should always think to yourself, okay, the longer I wait for this bowel movement, you know, it could really affect me, okay? You also need to realize if you don't take a shit, guys, if you do not shit, you will actually, in actuality, you could, your ass could explode and you could die because that shit needs to come out. It's like automatic. It's just like if you don't piss or shit, you'll either piss yourself or shit yourself. It's, it's a common fact. So, and when it comes down to where at the time, who cares where you are, wherever you are, even if it's in a mall, grocery store, Anywhere, anywhere there's a bathroom, you head to that bathroom and you shit if you have to shit. Make sure you have all your belongings with you at all times, but make sure you shit. Don't think, oh, I'll wait till I get home, this and that. If you know you're a long ways home and you need to shit, go shit. No matter if you drive, walk, or take a bus, it's an important fact if you shit. Remember, it could affect you in the, early, in the later life if you do not take a shit. It's a true fact, okay? You need to really take that fact, and that involves in the other word of when, too. You shouldn't just think when I should take a shit. You should just do it now, okay? So, for it, like, so far, we went through what, when, where. Now we're going to go to why, okay? We're going to go through the column of why. 
I sort of explained a little bit why it is important to take a shit, sort of, because of how it could back up on your heart, how you could die, this and that. But can I ask you another question? Because you feel too lazy to go to that bathroom at the moment, because you have a reason, so that would go involve why. Why would you want to wait? Oh, because I feel too lazy. Oh, because I don't feel like going to the bathroom right now. Or I'm out, I'm busy at the moment. Okay, so you're too busy to go to the fucking bathroom because you're busy, you're doing something that's urgent. Well, I would say one thing here. Just one thing. I would be very busy or doing something at the moment, but I would think to myself, well, hmm, what should I, what would I rather do? Do something I can always do any time I want? Or should I actually do something that can help me in the later life, later on in life? Which is take a fucking shit. And it doesn't affect me and my body. Take a shit, guys. Take a goddamn shit. Okay? We are done in the why part. Now, let's go through how can you solve this problem. So, I want to give all of you a demonstration on how to use a toilet. If some of you do not like taking a shit anywhere or where. Okay? So this is what you do. Do anything you want, but you're going to have this feeling that comes in your stomach that tells you you have to take a shit. <clears throat> so, think to yourself, okay, I got shit. Find a bathroom, go in the stall, an empty stall with toilet and toilet paper at the side, right? You know what I'm talking about. And then after, pull your pants down, sit on the toilet, and shit. You shit. There you go, you shit. That's the answer to your question, is how can I solve this problem without causing me problems in the later life? Go shit. There you go. Just shit. Okay? That's all you gotta do is shit. And if you shit, you will feel a lot better. You will be healthier. You will let all the bad things out of your body. Okay? And if any of you ever have a problem with taking a shit, then always get something for from recommended from a doctor that you can take so you can stop constipation and stuff like that, okay? But anyways, guys, that was talking about shit, okay? And again, to the people who are pressing play on the show, if none of you like what I'm saying, if none of you do not appreciate the way I present myself, then get the fuck off the video once again, just to tell you haters out there. Okay, and to anybody who loves what I'm saying, who loves my demonstrations on certain problems, please watch, comment, subscribe, share to your friends and family, and most of all, like I always tell all of you, gain inspiration. Alright? That's the most important thing out of all these episodes, gaining inspiration. Okay? So anyways, guys, I gotta actually get going. So take care now. Make sure you take your shits, make sure you gain inspiration, watch, comment, subscribe, and like, and I will talk to all of you next week. Bye bye everyone. Did Real Talk inspire you today? Well everybody, if it inspired you, and you have a problem that you have at home or anywhere at all that you need help dealing with, please everybody, do not have an issue with the please. If you want to call me directly to let me know your problem and I can give you some help with it, please give me a call at my number right here where it says 647-741-0621. Or if you'd rather email it to me because you'd rather do it by the technical social media way, please email me at gpbes austinbullock at outlook.com. Okay? Now, Anytime you have a problem, please don't forget to email me or call me. Thank you guys. Have a great day, and see y'all next week for Real Talk. Bye.